I got an A star in A level maths in 2024 exams. And today I'm going to be explaining exactly how I did it and how you can do it too to also get an A star in A level maths. My name is Henry Brand. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe. I do A level content, GCSE content, revision content. Please, as well, can everyone leave a like? I'm going to get into this video straight away with point number one and Number one is the equipment that you need to study A-level maths and to help you get that A-star. So number one is this calculator. There are two types of calculators you can use for A-level maths and one of them is like electronic like that and the other one's smaller and it's not, it's more like analog kind of one of the old calculators. I would get this calculator. On it you can like draw maths graphs, you can do so, so much. I really, really think this calculator over the other calculator will help you get an A-star so much more. It's so much easier to get an A-star with this calculator. And that's the Casio CG50. Link in the description to that. Next up, I would buy paper flashcards for A-level maths. It's much easier because you'll have to be drawing graphs and things like that, which is much harder on something like Quizlet or Anki. I'd also get the paper textbooks, paper textbooks for maths. They're really good. The maths textbooks are the best textbooks for any A-level, I think. This almost contains everything you can actually need to get an A-star. And I think having them on paper stops you being distracted if you had them online. That's not an essential, but I would recommend that personally. And finally, you absolutely need a whiteboard. This will save you so much paper. You can do so many questions. It's portable. 100% get a whiteboard for A-level maths. The amount of maths I've done on this whiteboard is crazy. It allows you to draw diagrams easily, rub things out, practice. Get a whiteboard. The link is going to be in the description for that. So that's all the equipment you need, the main equipment that will actually help you get that A-star. Now I'm going to be moving on to the best maths resources. There are three maths YouTubers who are the best YouTubers in maths for A-levels. They were so helpful for me. I'd really, really recommend them for you. And that is Bison Maths. Bison Maths, I actually subscribe to his crash courses. He does some crash courses in the second year that are really helpful. So I subscribe to them. I think they're £50 each, but really worth it. And he does lots of explanatory videos as well. Then there's TL Maths. TL Maths does loads of like three, five minute videos to 10 minute videos just on every single topic in maths. So if you ever need help with a specific topic or you don't understand a specific topic in class, search TL Maths, search that topic and learn it from him. He's very useful, especially for specific parts of maths you don't understand. Finally, Mr. Asprey Maths is so good. I actually discovered him quite early, a bit almost before he blew up much more. And he does, first of all, he does really loads of daily hard maths questions. And you want to find someone, if you want an A star, you need to find people that work through hard, difficult questions. So he was really useful for me seeing how you can process and how you can attack and achieve and get the marks in these hard questions. So Mr. Asprey was really useful. He also did some predicted papers, which are very helpful too. So those are the three YouTubers. I would go and subscribe to them now if you're taking A-Love Maths. They're that helpful. Really recommend them. I can't recommend them enough, actually. And I think those are the three maths YouTubers you need. The only three that can help you get an A-star. For maths A-Level, I used YouTube a lot, okay? So I spent a lot of time on YouTube. What I would often do is, when they put up a question on the board, I would pause it, work it out my whiteboard, and skip to the end to see if I got it right. If I didn't get it right, I would watch the whole video and understand what I got wrong. And if I did get it right, I'd move on to the next one. So they're a really good source of questions and yeah, allowed you to see difficult questions. That's really useful. Next up, I'd recommend buying the MME Maths Predicted Papers. They do this every year. There's a set of nine predicted papers. I'll put the link in the description. It's just a bunch of papers basically that you can get. And for A-level maths, you're going to need as many past papers as you possibly can. Because you will, if you want to get an A-star, you should be using up all of the past papers that they have on the edXL web website or the ACO website or whatever your exam board is. So you're going to be doing loads of practice papers and that's why I would buy the MME practice papers. Finally, Maths Genie was a really good source for a lot of A-level content as well. So that was really useful for A-level questions. So those are the best maths resources. I'd recommend subscribing to them and buying them if you can. But yeah, they were really, really helpful. So now that you've got the equipment and now that you've got the resources for an A-star and A-level maths, this is the technique I did and I used to get an A-star in A-level maths. Now, maths is actually one of the easiest subjects to revise. It's one of the harder in terms of content, but it's very easy to revise. Most people know how to revise maths. It's the same principle from GCSE to A-level. And this is 
do loads and loads and loads of questions. Okay, keep doing questions. If there are any topics you don't understand, learn them and keep doing them again. But this is a specific technique I used. So in class, I would have paper flashcards on me, okay? And whenever my maths teacher went through anything important or that I thought was important, so for example, an equation to learn or how to do differentiation, anything like that, I would write it down straight onto my flashcard, okay? And what this did, what this means is that A, it saves me time because in class, I'd also check, I'd use the textbook kind of knowledge to write my flashcard and have a question on one side, answer on the other. For example, how do you sketch a parametric curve? And then it tells you there on the back. So I'd write my flashcards when anything important came up in class. I'd do this instead of doing notes because whenever I wrote maths notes, I just didn't look back on them. OK, you don't really need notes in maths. Write flashcards of all of the important equations, facts and anything like that you need to know. And do that as you go along. Start from the first lessons. I use loads of flashcards I wrote in my first year for me in A-level maths when it actually came to my exams. So write the flashcards. Next up, as I've just mentioned, is do loads and loads of practice papers and practice questions. Loads. You can't get enough of them in maths. You should be doing, if you want an A star, you really should be doing lots a week on top of homework, on top of extra work, just lots of questions. Do your homework, okay? Make sure you just do your homework. Homework is almost always helpful for maths because it's just lots of maths questions. If it's way too easy for you, then that's fine. You don't have to do every single question in your homework, but try out ones that look difficult for you, okay? You should seek out difficult topics in maths A-level and learn them and revise them and do questions on them. I know it's difficult. I relate to kind of when we were asked to do questions in class or anything like that. I'd often want to just do easy questions. It just felt nicer. But no, you should be seeking out hard questions for A-level maths. So do your homework and do extra work each week in terms of questions. Make sure as well you're going back over old topics so you don't forget them. So say I study something in my first two weeks of college. You should be going over those questions again, maybe in a month's time, a week's time. And that's why having a planner for your revision is so important, because you can write in that planner in three weeks time to go over those questions. So make sure you're not just going over questions you're currently doing in class. You should also be revising content that you've learned in the past few months and even years if you're in the second year. That's really important. Go through old questions and old topics to make sure they're still in your memory, because there is quite a lot of content. It's manageable, though, if you keep up with it. And also maths builds on each other. So your foundations have to be really good. I would probably after about half a year, start doing AS maths papers in the first year and A-level A level papers in the second year. You can skip questions that you haven't actually learned yet. But doing AS papers in the first year is really helpful because that's pretty much everything you need to know. So I'd really recommend that. And then in the second year, I would do from January onwards, loads and loads and loads of past papers. I'm going to put up on the screen here how many past papers I did in A-level maths to get an A-star. It's loads, okay? Each one of those was two hours long. So there is time, but what you can do, what I used to do actually, was break up the papers into one hour. So I'd do one hour maybe on Saturday, one hour on Sunday. Loads of maths questions. That's the best way to revise, guys. And that is the technique for A-level maths, okay? I hope this video was helpful. I've tried to keep it quite concise. This is part of my A-star a-level video series so yeah like i said i hope it was helpful that's all you need in a level maths those resources those techniques and honestly it's just all about questions and having like resources to learn those questions okay and know where you went wrong i would email my teacher loads with all sorts of questions i didn't understand because there's going to be a lot of that in maths you need to get good at finding ways to understand things you don't understand whether this be emailing your teacher youtube chat gpt anything like that but A-level math is just about questions and memorising techniques. So that's why you need to do the flashcard technique and then doing it all again and again and again until you are at A-star level. And even then, you don't stop until you reach the exams. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like and leave any comments in the description or in the comment section if you have them. And I will respond.